Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Rod with the word in season. Proverbs 10.22 says, The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. And that has been a verse that has been rolling around in my mind a whole lot lately. Um, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Uh, I just came back from the grocery store about 15 minutes ago and the whole parking lot was packed and I said, oh Lord, could you open something up for me? And the second the prayer left my brain, <laughs> there was this parking space opened up and I thought, that's it, that's the blessing of the Lord. That makes me rich. Um, it's not just things like that, it's just um, his presence. Uh, we heard uh, the other night somebody said that the biggest fear that the Israelites had was the absence of the presence of the Lord. That was their biggest fear. And you know what? I wrote that down and thought, you know, that's my biggest fear. The absence of the presence of the Lord. Because His presence is what makes my life rich in so many ways. When I read His Word and when He starts teaching me um, some passage that I've read a few times and now all of a sudden I get it, that is so exciting to me. Um, he makes my life rich in ways that I can't count back to you. So my... Um, my uh, suggestion to you today is Proverbs 10:22. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Has God blessed you? How has God blessed you? How many ways has God blessed you? Can you count those ways back to him? The word says you can't count them back to him. All the blessings that he's given you, you can't count those blessings back to him. But I'll tell you, if you're depressed, um, if you're on the edge of being depressed, if you feel like the presence of the enemy is there trying to drag you off in that direction, start counting your blessings and you will find that that leaves. So that's my word in season for today. And we're down here in sunny Florida. I saw a newscaster a few minutes ago who was all bundled up with a knit hat and a big scarf on and a warm coat. And I said, oh Lord, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich in warm, sunny, 80 degree Florida in the middle of January. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God is so good. I hope that you all have a very blessed day wherever you are, however bundled up you are, however warm you are, whatever your state. Start counting your blessings and you will find that you will climb right away from that spirit of depression. I hope you have a great day in Jesus' name. God bless you.